All we need is a grand, maybe 1,500 bucks, and then we're over this hump, and then we can go back to business as usual. Those are our new bed sheets. It's a pillowcase. But it's part of a set. The cops aren't gonna care if we rip off some wise guys. All right, this is a robbery. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm playing around here? I can't believe it's a based on a true story. I mean, yes. Do you guys remember when it happened? I do. I didn't. When I when I read it, I hadn't heard of the story. That's part of what I liked was that it's such a great, mad tale, and yet it ultimately isn't a famous story. It's based on a true story about these two characters who started robbing the sort of so-called mafia social clubs, which is a crazy thing to do. Well, I grew up right around the corner, a right? mile from there. Yeah. So yeah, I, I had had heard of it, and this was a story that was not front page news, but it just caught your attention as soon as you saw it. The people who own these supposed social clubs are operating in illegal activities. The last thing they want is for a police detective to come in and say, oh, they robbed your club, Let us. we're gonna come in and we're gonna see if we can dust for fingerprints, right. you know? It's funny, we, we had a screening of the film at uh, like a research screening and the focus group, they were asked what kind of film is it? One guy said, he raised his hand and he said, it's a fiasco flick. And I laughed, I was like, what does that mean? And he said, well, a fiasco flick is you know what's going on is gonna end in disaster, and yet you love watching it. Right. And I went, this is a whole genre of movies I never even thought about. Yeah. Our principles are honor, sacrifice, and above all, solidarity. And your character really sort of, you know, kind of transcend that, that big boss idea. Yeah, the whole concept of, of trying to find a guy who, who had started as an owner of a food truck, by chance he was exposed to this world and he started making money as a runner and before you know, he, you know, he, he became right. the boss. And he, he thought he was getting into this situation uh, to provide for his family and protect his family, you know. As it turns out, it's the very thing that destroyed his family. It's always intimidating for me to work with these these actors, true actors, you know? Because I'm still, you know, in my head, I'm still trying to figure out if I am one. I just get this feeling, you're a, you're a cook in real life. Do you like to, to like? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> What's some of your specialties that you make? Well, I like to cook Italian food, you know? I do, and, and Cuban food, which is a, the food of my culture. No rice balls? <laughs> I learned, well, I learned how to make them for the film, actually. I, I, I went to a local, one of the great chefs in Los Angeles, uh, Gino Angelini. And, and you know, he taught me, went to his restaurant, and we went backstage and we shot a little documentary on making rice balls. <laughs> they looked delicious, by they the were, way. They were, they yeah. <laughs> It's good, right? Well, thank you everyone for watching Extra on YouTube. And for updates on the latest celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. Yes, and if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Below. <laughs>